Okay, in question five, they're saying that there are coordinates five, seven, and nine minus one. So let's say nine minus one is here. Okay, find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of AB. So if this is A, this is B, and the line is between them, we have to find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of AB. And perpendicular bisector will be a line which is exactly in middle and 90 degree to the existing line AB. Alright, so let's do it. This is perpendicular bisector. Okay, for equation we need y minus y1 equal to mx minus x1 y1 and x1 are the coordinates of the point on the line and this is the line we want so this is the point which will be lying on perpendicular bisector as well and it is the midpoint this one is the midpoint of existing line ab so let's find the coordinates of midpoint let's call it m okay so the coordinates of m will be the x coordinate of point A5 plus x coordinate of point B9 divided by 2, y coordinate of A plus y coordinate of B divided by 2. And that comes out to be 7 and 3. Alright, so we have found x1 and y1. y1 is 3 and x1 is 7 x will remain x because it's, it is not replaced by anything y is y so m the gradient is needed now all right so there are uh, we need at least two points on a line to find its gradient but the problem is we have just one point on this perpendicular bisector but the good news is that we have two points on the main line ab this one so let's find the gradient of ab and gradient is y2 minus y1. We can take any one as y2. Let's take this as y2. 7 minus y1, which is minus 1. Divided by x2 minus x1. So x2 will be 5 minus 9. And that comes out to be 8 over minus 4. That is minus 2. Yeah. And gradient of the perpendicular bisector will be a negative reciprocal of minus 2. So negative will make it positive and reciprocal of 2 is half. This is the m we are looking for. Okay, and now we'll put it back into the equation and we'll get the equation of the perpendicular bisector. So equal to half. Alright, so this 2 goes and multiplies to the left side. It will become 2y minus 6. And uh, 1 will multiply with this, so there's no change, x minus 7. Let's put everything to the left side. So 2y minus x minus 6 plus 7, which is plus 1, equal to 0. This is the equation of the perpendicular bisector. Okay, the B part, the line through C, 1, 2. Suppose this is C, and the coordinates are 1, 2. Parallel to AB, parallel to AB, okay, so this line is parallel to this line AB. Meets the perpendicular bisector at point X, so this point where they are meeting is point X. Okay, find by calculation the distance BX. So this is B, this is X, so basically they are asking us to find this distance BX. Alright, so to find the distance between two points, we should know the coordinates of both the points. The coordinates of B we know, coordinates of X we don't know. Right? So, what will we do? We'll find the equation of the line parallel to AB passing through C. Okay? And the equation is Y minus Y1 equal to M X minus x1 right so we have a point here so we'll 
substitute y1 as 2, x1 as 1, and y minus equal to and parallel to AB. That means it will have the same gradient as AB and the gradient of AB was minus 2, if you remember. So it will be minus 2 x minus 1. Okay, so the equation will be y minus 2 equal to minus 2x plus 2 and let's put everything to the left side y plus 2x e minus 2 and minus 2 minus 4 equal to 0. Alright, now we need to find the coordinates of this point x. It is the intersection of two lines, perpendicular bisector which is, this is the equation and this is the equation of this line. So we will, what will we do? We'll equate the two lines and we'll get the coordinates of this point. So let's write this as y equal to minus 2x plus 4. Okay, I isolated y so that I can plug in that y here in this equation. Let's do it. 2 times y, y is minus 2x plus 4 minus x plus 1 equal to 0. Uh, we have only one variable x now and we will get the x coordinate because of this. Minus 4x plus 8 minus x plus 1 equal to 0. Minus 4x minus x is minus 5x. 8 plus 1 is 9. So it becomes positive 9 but if it goes to the right side it becomes negative 9. So s becomes 9 over 5. Now we will find the y coordinate and we can find y coordinate with the help of this line. Minus 2 times 9 over 5 plus 4. So it comes out to be uh, 18 over 5 plus 4 which comes out to be 2 over 5. So the coordinates of this point x are 9 over 5 comma 2 over 5. Alright, now we have to find the distance. Okay, and the distance formula is square root x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. And we know x1, y1, y2, y1, everything. We know. So, 9 over 5 right here 9 over 5 minus 9 okay square plus 2 over 5 minus minus 1 which is positive 1 square and if I put everything in my calculator this one I will get 7.33 units that is the distance bx